but this is very fascinating man i'm so glad i'm in this book club because i was reading this i was like oh my goodness this is how do you break this down into different levels so it's nice to have some people to talk about it so thank you yeah um thank you uh this question is like embodies all the work that i do around helping people with shame and the whole focus of life in the modern world objectifying body keeps and particularly trauma victims focused on the illusion that we are just finite physical bodies and we are just our minds and what miss haynes kept talking about was that we, there's these identities and there's these roles and there's you know, we go about our days, but there's always this thing that everybody is searching for that's missing. You know, there's always, you know, whatever the, the next spouse, the next job, the next, there's an unanswered question. And so everywhere we see a focus on a body keeps us stuck in a belief that we are just bodies and our thoughts. And what I learned in my own trauma work is to remind myself, my mantra every day is I'm not a body nor the thoughts my mind makes and that our minds send attack thoughts to separate us from each other, like this question asked, and from that the only truth is that we're infinite beings, whole, perfect, and complete, and that nothing that no one has said or done, including ourselves, changes that. And so when we're aware we're not our thoughts, I can say, okay, I am in fear and judgment and attacking somebody else, disconnecting, like the question asked, or I am in shame and I'm disconnected from myself. So all those signs and everything about objectifying a body is like arrows shot at us constantly throughout the day that are very harmful to living, you know, a spiritually and community connected life because we have to remember we're not bodies nor our thoughts. So. Wow, thank you. That was, that was, a, <laughs> I, I need you to type that in the chat. <laughs> I, love, <laughs> I love that mantra. I, I wanna write it down, thank you. I'll send you some other things. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. I really appreciate that.